All right. So good evening, everybody. Um, tonight I'm going to work on a position called the 9090 position. Um, so we've done some of this um, at Results Sync before, but I'm going to show you how to get into it properly and a few moves you can do from there. It's really good um, for the hips, uh, and then consequently, you'll also um, probably help out your lower back and potentially any um, needles further down your legs as well. Um, Especially while we're all sat down a lot, not moving around as much as we normally are, um, our hips are getting a little, probably a little bit, um, a little bit sticky, and we want to get them moving again. So, risk this out for some basic uh, hip movements, just to get them uh, working first before we go into anything um, more complicated. So, we're just going to work in this position to begin with. I'm just going to lift the knee forward. Try not to get it from your low here. We're just kind of lift from the hip and then extending from the hip as well. So your back, you will get a little bit of movement, but it shouldn't be a there and there. So let's do 10 on one and 10 on the other. Try and give everything a straight line. So like the legs on a bird dog, we also always try and bring your knee towards your chest as well. Ten. And then another ten. Pull your toe towards your shin. Nice slow tempo. Try and not take too much movement from your back. But do try and get full hip extension at the back. And quite a lot of hip flexion up front if you can. Okay. So now I've worked the hip front and back ways, we go side to side. So I'm going to go fire hydrant position. So same position here. We go up to the side. Come back now. Up to the side. And we'll do 10. And again, you don't want to be getting loads of movement from um, your back for this. So you want it in a neutral position. And you also don't want to be rocking the other hip out. So you don't want to be going like that. Keep the front arm locked. And keep your hips still. You might actually get a little less movement. But you're getting it from the right place. Nice, okay. So now we're going to try and get a little bit more rotation from your hip. So you're going to go around and do a hip circle. We're going to do five front ways. So I kick out the back and come forward, I mean. Five on the other side. So again, you want your hips to be still, your back to be locked in this quadruped position. I'm going to draw a circle with your knee. Five. And then we're going to have two ways to win this way to begin with. Now I'm going to go up to the front, out to the side, around. Same again, up to the front, out to the side, around. And you want to lose that position. I'm straight, back locked. Up to the front, that's the side. Up to the front, that's the side, round to the back. And round. Cool. Okay. We'll just do a few hip rock backs. So pushing back onto the hip. Just do enough just to get a little bit more loose. You might be 10, might be a few more. I'm keeping, trying to focus on keeping this fairly neutral on this one. 
So I don't want too much kicking around here or sticking out. I'm just trying to keep it neutral. I'm going to slide out a little bit further. Just open up a little bit more there. Cool. Okay. And in the same position, I'll try to get into this one. You want to get a little bit more, so we want to sort of open up a little bit more for the hip on the outside here. So you're going to start in this same position that we've been in. You take your right foot and place it towards the middle, so the right leg, and then you're going to cross your left knee behind the right ankle. So you're blocking off the ankle, and then as soon as you do that, you should feel a stretch through from here, right through to here, but particularly right around the hip point. And then you gently just want to transfer your weight that way, and then back to the middle. So that way, and back to the middle. Again, I'm still focusing on keeping my spine in a neutral position. If you want to crank it up a little bit more, if you're not feeling much, you can take your hands the opposite way. And just hang out there. So I'll show you again on the opposite side. So good foot position. Let's bring our left leg towards the center line a little bit. And then bring your right knee and just pop it. Just around it above the ankle, and it should block off that leg from moving, that lower leg. And then the movement is going to come from your hip. So imagine you're trying to push your hip out to the side. It's not a big movement, it's just pushing out to the side. Because your lower leg can't move, your hip's got to do a lot of that work. So hold there just to let it relax a little bit. Nice. Now we're going to sit into this position as we work towards it, towards that 99. We're just going to cross our leg over so that your chin on the top is going to be uh, horizontal. Um, and then you're going to push your knee, this top knee, so my left leg. My knee here is going to go that way, and then nothing else is going to change. I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to push away, and bring it back. Push away, and bring it back. I might do 10. That's why it's more difficult. I can bring this foot up higher. And if you see how I face that, it's a little more grim, and I cannot get anywhere near the same range of motion. So I'm just going to slide away a little bit. If it's a bit too intense, you can always just move this heel further as you move. Here like this. Okay, and the same on the other side. So fix that knee at about 90 degrees to begin with. And this one's going to do the same. It's going to cross and then just above your ankle, your knee's going to be placed there. And then you're going to move the knee away from your body. And then I'll move from your hip. And if you can, you can bring that foot towards you to increase the stretch or further away for me to diminish it. Just try and move that a little bit further each time. Nice and slowly. Because this is the most specific stretch towards the 99 position. Okay, let's relax there. Okay. So, do you have a little bit more, a um, little bit more blood flow, a little bit more warm for your hips. So, when we want to that 99 position and how to get into it, um, and then stuff you can do from there. So, the best way to do this is we start um, here, like that. So, you're going to put next leg in front of you here, your front leg. So you want to have a um, shin here and a 90 degree angle for this thigh. So this thigh and shin here are going to be at roughly 90 degrees. And then also your foot wants to be at 90 as well. So you don't want it stuck here, you want to actually pull it up. So you've got 90 and a 90 there. And then this one should be straight across the front. This one should be pointing straight ahead and so should be foot. So here and here should be perpendicular. 
and the back leg. I'm just going to turn side so you can see a little bit more. And the back leg. Again, it's exactly the same position in reverse. So you've got a 90 degree angle there, 90 degree angle there. Um, and then you've got this shin, this thigh, and this foot. And now perpendicular, they're all facing that same way, exactly the same direction. And this thigh, this foot, and this shin are all perpendicular as well in the um, opposite direction, going that way. Okay. Um, once you're in that position, you can probably adjust that a little bit to there. Once you're in that position, you see how I'm resting on this back hand here. If you take that hand away, you feel automatically this hip here starts to pinch, probably in that right in here. So you just work your hand up to switch so you can see. So just look at my angles. You can see everything is 90 degrees, all my joints are at 90 to my lower leg. Um, and everything's perpendicular to each other. So this hand, you're going to work it up. So the moment I'm resting here, I can feel a little bit in my hip, but nothing too major. But if I work myself up so I'm a bit more upright and a bit more upright, I'll really start to feel some movement here. It probably worth just getting used to that position for a little bit. And if you can, you can take that hand off. And you might actively need to sit up a little bit. I'm going to swap and I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to get into that 990. And everything's perpendicular. And I'm just going to work myself up and up so I'm upright. And then I'm going to take my hands off. And I'm just going to try and sit up nice and tall. I can really feel that hip capsule really working hard. Try and be relaxed in there. Okay. So from there, we've got a couple of options we can do. So we can do some upper body movements again. So rather than focusing on the legs, once you're into that position, get that nice high chest up angle. And then from there, once you've all positioned right, you're going to lean forward from your hip. So don't collapse like this. Actually keep your chest up and imagine it's a hip hinge, so your lower back's gonna stay. And you're aiming just to go over this leg towards the shin rather than the knee. So I'm trying to get my chest over my shin. Now, if you are mobile and you have control of that, you can take your hands away. I want you to do a couple. The intensity when you take your hand away is a lot. Um, it'll change a lot of the dynamics of that movement. So, same again, I'm going to set up on the other side. I'm going to work my way up so I can feel the movement here. And then I'm going to lean forward, my chest going over. I'm aiming for here. I'm trying to keep my back flat. Or relatively flat. I don't want to go straight into leaning from my back. I just want to push my chest forward. If you look a little bit further ahead rather than down on the floor, it'll probably help. Like one more. And just shake that off because you probably built up a little bit of tension there. So, once you've done uh, something like that in your upper body, um, you can also do a bit of a rotation. So you can get into the same position. No. Spend as much time as you can. In it. We're trying to extend that time we're spending in this position because it's really more comfortable. You can take your hands off. Now it's easy if you do this. So if you look this way, it's a little bit nicer. Now as you come forward, it's tough. So you can rotate your upper back. And the more you can get this direction, the tougher this is. Now you can do it with your hands down, so you can just twist and twist here, so you get some upper back rotation. And actually, you might get a little bit more out of it because you can get a little bit more of a rotation this way. So same other side, set up, 90-90. 
So I'm going to keep my hands down, I'm going to rotate away, and here, rotate away, and it'll just change the emphasis slightly. If you can, take your hands up, but try, so I'm struggling, that left hip's not as good as my right. So you'll really feel a big difference, more than likely. Um, you see on my right, I could actually get to the front, on here I can't actually get round to my front. Um, so you'll feel a big, really big difference. Um, and then we can do the opposite of leaning forward. So before we went here, and you should have felt um, through this back hip, so I'll show you on this way. By leaning forward here, I can feel the stretch through that back glute and round into my hip. Now, if I lean away from it, so I go this way, but I'm still trying to keep my back flat, you'll feel this hip flexor here working. I can lean away and come back. Lean away, come back. And I'm basically going in exactly the opposite direction. So before I was trying to go a little bit more towards uh, the middle of my shin, this way I'm actually just going on a action back. This isn't really all way. You could take your hands away, I guess, but you'd have to have pretty tremendous uh, core strength to do that. So here, I'll show you from the front, so you can see where I'm going. So I'm in that angle, my angle's are right, and I'm gonna lean, take my hands away, and just lean away from it. Okay, it's interesting, this is my right side, and I'm much more upright than I was. I wasn't, I'm, I'm not leaning this way as much. So I'm leaning away, you should feel that right through this here. Well, especially through the hip flexor. Okay. So now you've done uh, some movement from the upper body uh, with nothing kind of moving. Uh, you've got the position established. So you've got the 99 position established. You can then try movements from there. So um, you can move from side to side. Now, one of the best ways to do this is if you start with your feet out like this. Uh, knees out, feet out, make sure these are at 90s um, and you're kind of ready so you kind of want your knees and ankles to be already in a 90 degree position with your feet out. If they are, you can then, you may need a bit of space for this um, or just go one direction but you might see yourself shuffling. I'm probably going to move back just so I don't shuffle too much but if I separate my feet and then I drop, you see how I end up, just going to go on back so I'm quite right but so I've dropped into it, and then I can take this one out. So I'm taking this knee off the floor, and I'm gonna end up back in this position, and then I'm gonna rotate to the other side, not bad. And then I'm gonna switch again. I'm gonna slam in this position, and back. Now this one is evidently a lot easier with your hands on the floor. So if I do my hands on the floor to here, and to here, it's much more controlled. Actually stop in this position, you'll get a great groin stretch as well. So when you come out, really push this knee away, and this one is coming slowly behind it. And if you do it about your hands, that's fantastic. So if I can go on my hands, you might want to just go forward. And then you can actually combine a few of them. So you can do the switch. So you can switch to one side. You could then lean forward. You can use back flat, lean away, back into there with the hands down or hands up. And take your hands, take yourself to there, over to the other side. Lean forward, feel free to back hit. Lean back, feel through here. Okay, so back up, go back to the other side. Back forward, not arching too much from the back. Lean away, get some mobility here. Switch again. Nice big switch. Quite a good one. Just forward, just away. And we can go back. So yeah. So we've done a couple of upper body. 
uh, movements and a couple of um, switches. So you learn how to basically switch from side to side. Um, now, I'll show you a couple of tough ones. All the way, <laughs> a progression to a tougher variation. So actually moving this back leg is the hardest thing you'll do because this hip kind of come off the floor now. There's not a lot of movement there um at all and if you can get some here that'd be fantastic so we're just going to do five reps of these on either side so if you watch closely we're going to set up in that same position and we'll work towards um getting this leg around to the front and back okay so it's going to go from there it's going to go out straight and it's going to come back into this position but there are a lot of steps to get there so the first one is if you roll this foot off the floor so you see this back foot just coming up it's literally coming be about that far if you can. And again, hands off. It's way harder than hand down. So you've got to be hand down, that's fine. A little lift off. So we're going to do that five on one side, five on the other. And we do that, five. Uh, okay, I'm going to swap. Now, I'm just going to try and get this leg off the floor. I'm going to just kneel. So I'm going to set myself my chest right. And you won't get an awful lot, but just really work on that, trying to get that up. And do the other side. You get that night night right. The more you sit up, like I said, the more you're towards the center line. Oh, this is, you can see on my left hip, no way near. Look. And I'm leaning right away. Let's swap again. So five there. We're getting towards that scoop round. So you go five, lift up, kick out. So I'm compensating by leaning away from it. Ideally, I'm trying to stay upright, but it's not easy. I have on the other side. I'm trying to stay in this position, but I'm probably going to end up leaning quite a lot, especially on my left for now. But the progression will be to get more towards here and less over here. Cool. And then we can progress right through to getting it right the way around to the front. So from here, I'm going to try to stay upright as much as I can, you probably see me leaning a little bit. So you're going to lift off, round to the front, round to the back without putting it back down. To the front. So I'm going to take it off, take it around. I know hands. <laughs> you see, we can't balance it, so we do. So I've got a chance it's on my right. And it's one of them where the slower you go, the better it is. So left side, here we go, here's the test. So I'm gonna lift off, round to the front. Ah, no, that's just about a big lead. So my well, left is a much more of an issue. And probably why I've never injured my right leg. But I've had four injuries at every time in my left leg. <laughs> there we go. So that was. Um, the 99 position, so that's this position. It's really good for your hips, um, really good for your hips. If you can get into that position, fantastic. And I'll show you some variations of how you can move um, your body just to emphasize different um, parts of the hip there. Hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'll see you soon, guys, soon. Have a good evening.